inside this mysterious box. The fruits of a year's work. The mystery men are Gerard, co-founder of Cervello, and Andy, former BMC CEO. Yeah. All right. I hope so. you properly captured the glamour of this life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the right thing. What I can do. The two men are ready to open their small new startup to the world of mountain biking after leaving behind the security of senior positions in large bike companies. I think it'll be a bit of a difference going from my old fat chance to this. Nothing wrong with a fat chance. I'm Joseph. Gerard asked me and my pals to tell the story of the Cervello test team. Now I'm telling another underdog story, that of the new open mountain bike company and the community it hopes to foster. In two days, they'll unveil their first bike at Sea Otter, one of the biggest mountain bike events around. There's still tons to do. Two and a half weeks you're going full gas every day, non-stop. You start to feel it slowly. Yeah. As long as you keep going, it's okay. Yeah, and if you sit down, there you go. Ah. All right. So we'll okay. have a record meeting. We'll see you at eight. Perfect. All right. All right. Night, guys. Right. Nice guys. Well. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see, see the bike. Oh, and the Vlosh thing uh, sounds great. It's, yeah, it's, it's good, good, eh? Right? Yeah. You can see that they're just really excited. There's a lot of energy. They just traveled 24 hours, and Gerard looked fresher and fitter than I've ever seen him. Uh, so it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty exciting. And when they took the bike out, I mean, it's an absolute gorgeous machine. You say it's beautiful and looks great, but it's, it's all about the ride. So hopefully I'll get a chance to ride it. I sit down with the guys to hear about the open philosophy. We want to have a company that's open, that shows what's going on on the inside. It also means that we're open to input from consumers. If consumers have good ideas, we want to talk to them, we want to meet them, we want to together develop better bikes. Of course, it's also an open and using the bikes. You know, when you're outside, you, you feel the elements and uh, it's where your mind is really open. You know, we are an open company, open for people, open for new ideas and open for communication. It's really simple, and but it says it all. To get the open dialogue going on the product side, Gerard and Andy have decided to start with a carbon hardtail 29er and plan to offer limited edition builds in small batches along the way. We're supposed to be shooting some video for the website, but our test rider is a no-show. So Andy volunteers. You sit on this bag and you feel comfortable from the first moment. You don't really know why, but you know, the handling, it's very, very good. And the comfort, your position on the bag. We wanted to start with a hardtail because we love the directness and the responsiveness of a hardtail and, and the way you can ride with it, especially when you have a really good geometry that's, that's quite aggressive, yet still stable as well. Carbon is a nice material, obviously. I've worked with it for a long time and I like it. And, it allows you to do certain things, certain shapes that really solve problems for you. So it's, it's a great way to make a frame that's fairly comfortable, that's very light, and of course you have this form freedom to, to put the stiffness exactly where you want it. Because the back is so light and it accelerates so quickly, you, you go out of the saddle much more. You know, if there is a little hill where, you know, before you would have downshifted, you just, uh, you know, go out of the saddle and right. These men are proud of their work, which led them to travel the world for development and testing. What we've seen over the last couple of months when we have you know, 20, 30 people test ride the bikes is that everybody comments on how agile it is and how easy it is to ride that bike. The owner of Bike Rumor, a very popular website, will be the first to break the open story. It's nice to see something done a little differently. I like the cable routing. And General execution of it. solid. Worked out well. Glad to hear that. Thanks for the ride. Not that I was yeah. too nervous, but uh, <laughs> you, know, you never know, right? Yeah, but bloggers don't hold back in their posts. So the guys will have to wait till tomorrow to read what he really thinks. 
while Andy puts together the bikes for their booth. Gerard puts the final touches on his blog posts for OpenCycle.com, which needs to launch tomorrow. Gerard is known for speaking his mind on social media, stirring passion and controversy. It'll be interesting to see how the mountain bike community reacts to his openness and that of the company. An early start on launch day. The bike rumor post is encouraging, but the open website goes down, but is back up again just in time for launch. While other companies have flashy booths, Opens is as simple as can be, in line with the open marketing strategy, or lack thereof. No sponsorships, just online interactions and real live conversations. It's, it's Bieber right, for mountain bikes. I think it's even more important to be honest uh, on a mountain bike than on a road bike. And it's one of the reasons why we can have a 900 gram frame that is as stiff as it is when, when you ride. It'd be very hard to do that with BB30 or, or, or one of the other standards. It's actually one of the quickest handling 29ers I've ever ridden. Like it, it's a point and shoot. It just wants to turn, but not, not, uh, not twitchy. Just nice and solid. Obviously, these guys know what they're doing too. So got a lot of, a lot of history behind carbon there. So I could see riding one of these pretty soon. <laughs> I got a little nervous this morning as I uh, just before I actually had to get up. I was, all of a sudden the website stopped working, so that was a bit of a problem. But uh, that was quickly solved. So you build up pressure, you know, and it, it was really exponentially. Now it's out, you know, and now you get the first reactions. And that's really nice, you know. In the first instance, Andy and I will tell the story of of Open. We hope that more and more our, our customers and our friends would also tell that story. Now, you don't have to be an owner of an open bike. If you're interested in mountain bikes or if you're interested in how a small company starts up and tries to make its way through this world, then you can just join our community. Besides the open story, Andy and Gerard are looking for people to share their stories, their favorite rides, trails, and mountain bike memories and maybe even invite me to come film those stories. And like Gerard says, you don't have to own an open bike. Just join in the conversation.